One of the most important areas to master for any service provider in any department is the consultation. We know that the consultation is where the magic will happen. When the guest has a problem, they're going to tell you at that point. This is when you're going to offer them solutions to their problems. You're also going to talk to them about the time that it's going to take to do their treatment, their nails, their hair, their color correction, whatever the case may be. And it's also going to be the time when you talk about cost. If there's something more that you need to do other than what they're booked for, you will want to tell them before you start the service. We generally recommend for you to write it on the ticket while you're telling them so that there is no fuzzy areas and they aren't confused. Many times in the hair department, we'll give them a price window, not an exact quote, because along the way, isn't it true where sometimes the colors can change while you're using the product? You don't exactly predict everything that's going to happen and your plan might have to change a little bit. So that just means that the cost might be adjusted as well. Sometimes higher, sometimes lower. So that's why we like to give a price window. So one of the first and most important things about evaluating a client when they come in, especially a brand new client, is the consultation. I think we would all agree that the consultation is probably the most important because it's going to help us map out what we're going to do for the rest of the visit. And keep in mind, the one thing is to have the end in mind before you begin. So how do we go about doing a really great consultation? First off, we want to do a good analysis of the client's hair and their lifestyle and their life in general. Why is this important? Not to give you analysis paralysis or go into a long dissertation about all the importances of why a consultation is good. The most important part though is to figure out where you're at and also where you're going to end up. So just like if you were going into Google Maps and setting up a destination in your map, you want to make sure you know exactly where you're going to go and where you're starting from. So the beginning is about analyzing where you're starting from. We believe it's the easiest to go through a full consultation with a system. That's why we've designed an actual form that the client fills out and then the stylist fills out. That way, this gives you a roadmap of how to analyze their hair, their lifestyle, what they want, what they don't want, and all being able to ask the questions that are needed to gather all the information before you start to formulate and create their custom hair plan. Creating your client's custom hair plan from the very beginning is going to help you in a lot of ways. One being it'll give you direction on what's going to happen today and in their next visit but also more importantly, it's gonna set you up to help you with your retail goals, helping to recommend the client things that they need as far as add-ons. Maybe they've um, signed up today for a highlight and haircut, but they're gonna need some other things in order to make that look come out fully the way they want. I wanna talk about a consultation recap. So we've talked about why to do a consultation. We've talked about how to do a consultation and we've talked about the tool that I use to do all of my consultations. Once you have the sheet all filled out and you've gone through all of the areas with the guest, you've talked about what they like, what they don't like, and you've come up with some idea of a custom hair plan for them. You're going to want to do a recap before you start. And usually the recap sounds something like this. So I'm gonna do a little role play with you. So if you're the guest and we've gone through a whole a consultation, we're 15 minutes into it now, we've now gone through and written out the price window of the service today. We've written down the potential timing. We've talked about some of the needs and wants that she has. And we've talked about her hair type her lifestyle and all the things that are going on. Basically, you've gotten, a, hopefully by now, a list of her problems and you, being the problem solver, are gonna talk to her about the solutions that you've offered. So the recap goes something like this. Okay, Mrs. Underhill, so let me just recap a little bit about what we've already talked about. So we're gonna do your touch up on your root area. And while that's sitting, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna balayage some of your ends and brighten some of your other blonde that have been kind of doled out. And then after the shampoo and treatment, I wanna go through and do your toner so that we can reduce that unwanted gold that you have. And then with the haircut, we're gonna do a little bit of a trim, but I'm gonna lighten up a lot of the layers that where it's gotten really heavy for you. 
and usually uh, this whole thing is probably going to take about three and a half hours and it's going to be a price window of between 250 and 300 dollars do you have any questions before we begin so usually if you go through and you recap everything that you've talked about you tell them what you're going to do the treatment the color the highlights the haircut whatever it is right then when you're ready to go actually do the service i usually end and I use a verbiage saying, do you have any questions before we begin? If they say no, we're ready to go, then you're off, off to fly and have a good time. So that way, when you go through your whole consultation, it helps you kind of seal at the end the custom hair plan. I also have them sign the area where it says guest initials and I sign it too and I date it. That way, we've talked about everything, it's very transparent and clear, and then there is no wondering what was gonna happen. Okay, so ultimately your best consultation practices are going to be to know and understand that there are three forms of consultations. The one we talked about today, which is the new guest consultation. And then not to forget our returning guests because your returning guest consultation will help keep them from getting bored, right? It's going to help keep you in the loop with keeping them modern and making sure that they don't want to jump to another stylist because they're only being asked, for example, are we doing the same thing today? So try to remove those words from your vocabulary if you can. Are we gonna do the same thing today or same thing as last time? And really check in with your regular guests and your returning guests and ask them if it's you know time to update their look or if they feel like they're getting um, bored with their hair. And then the final one is the virtual consultation. And that's basically the kind that you're gonna do with your FaceTime, with your phone, with your through your Instagram camera. But um, I'm actually going to address that in another video, so stay tuned for that one, and good luck on your consultations.